Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we will talk about how to fix pulsating brakes. Here is what causes it. Excessive heat. Excessive braking or sudden stop creates a lot of heat on the brake pads and rotors. The excessive heat leads to the formation of visible irregularities on the brake rotor called grooves. These grooves create excessive friction that result in pulsating car brakes. Additionally, rusted brake pads will cling on to the rotors instead of giving way as required, leading to intense pressure on the rotors. This fierce pressure produces excessive heat, ultimately leading to pulsating car brakes. Wear and tear. The brake system functionality is dependent on the brake pads. Over time, the brake pads wear and tear. However, if this process is uneven, it may lead to brake pulsation. Here, the brake pulsation occurs as a result of metal-on-metal -metal contact. Rust formation on the pads and rotors. Exposure to moisture, road salt, and inactivity may contribute to rust formation on your brake pads and rotors. This layer of rust interferes with the seamless movement of brake pads. Similarly, it makes the rotors rough, leading to excess pressure and overheating that creates pulses when braking. Uneven rotor thickness. The thickness of the rotors has to be even for smooth braking. However, brake caliper misalignments, non-uniform clamping force, and incorrect installation may cause the rotors to develop uneven thickness due to uneven wear and tear. Once the rotor's thickness becomes uneven, pulses will be felt when braking. To fix pulsating brakes, replace the brake rotors and pads. Here is how to do it. Park the car on a flat, solid surface, then chalk the rear wheels. Use your car's manual to identify safe jack points and install the jack and jack stand. Next, raise the car to a comfortable height. Unscrew the wheel nuts and gently remove the wheel. Remove the retaining bolts to slide the calipers away. Remove the old brake pads. Disengage the caliper mounting bracket and apply firm pressure to slide out the old rotor. Inspect the hub for rust. If there is rust, remove it using coarse sandpaper, a wire brush, and an oil stone. Clean the hub off of any lubricant. Inspect the hub spigot for any rust. If you find any, use fine-grade sandpaper to clean it. Push back the pistons inside the calipers and install the new rotor. Apply brake lubricant on the slider contacts. Install new brake hardware to prevent noise when braking. Install the new brake pads based on the wear sensor orientation. Refit the calipers in position and then pump the brakes gently. Install the wheel to the correct torque and secure the lug nuts. Remove the jack and test your car for any pulse in the brakes. Alternatively, you can opt to resurface your rotors instead of replacing them. Resurfacing involves machinery to smoothen the rotor surface. However, this process requires the right tools and skills, so it is recommended that a professional handle resurfacing for optimal results. Additionally, resurfacing may lead to thinning of the rotors. Therefore, only resurface when guided by a professional. Thanks for watching.